I was in a very toxic relationship. I was trying to get out of that and ended up with breast cancer. I was on my own because I had no insurance and no money. I was lucky enough to get the surgeries to get rid of the cancer, and that was the most important part. I mean, the cancer was bad enough to deal with, you know. Doctor appointments, and you have stress with that because you don't know if it's gonna come back, you don't know um, if, if it's gonna show up somewhere else, and you're, you're on these medications, or they wanna put you on these medications, they wanna do all this, and then you have to go through your daily routine without, without a catch, without anybody seeing that you're falling apart. When you lose something like that, you lose a part of you. I wasn't able to afford insurance. So I knew it was gonna be a while to wait. When we look in the mirror, that's one thing that I, I can't do. I cannot at this point look in the mirror at myself. But I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to walk past the mirror and actually see the reflection of myself and say, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> there I am, there I am. And that's when I found my hope chest. Now comes the step of getting back to normal, to regain what I have lost and to look in the mirror and say, I'm, I'm back. And that's where the charity comes in to play. And this is what they do. My Hope Chest does do what it says they are going to do, and they are ready to help thousands of women, you know, that don't have the insurance. The money goes exactly where it's supposed to go. This is the real deal. They do help women. You do see results, and I'm one of them.